Hello again everybody, how y'all doing? I uh, just wanted to do a real quick video here. Something I've been meaning to do for a while now. Um, I know most of my videos I'm going to be putting out sooner about my new business, Getting Nautical Outfitters. If you haven't heard about it, go online, check it out, www.gettingnautical.com. It's all clothing lines. But uh, aside from that, wanted to do a quick video on a phone case I've been using. Completely random, completely out of the blue. Um, one thing about me... In full disclosure, when I go to buy something, I will review the absolute hell out of it until I buy it. I will go to the store multiple times, watch YouTube videos, you name it, and then I'll buy it. So, a uh, little background about me. I work full-time as a marina manager. So, year-round, 12 months out of the year, we're outside in all weather. Rain, snow, sleet. If there's a hurricane, we're going to be outside right before it hits, trying to get all the boats put away. So, needless to say... Our phones, they get their asses kicked. So, I want to do a review, on, not from a perspective, well, let me say actually, biggest problem I have watching all these reviews is everything from the phone to the cases, everything else are done in this perfect environment, sitting at a desk, no real world, I'm going to be outside dropping in the rocks, hanging off a boat, sitting in the back of a truck, moving cinder blocks, jack stands, you name it to see how durable something actually is. Not walking around and saying, hey, I got this amount of battery life for the day, I was playing video games, sitting in the mall, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit about that. I work outside, I have to use my phone for work, I'm calling while God knows what's coming out of the sky that day. So, what I have right here is what I was using before, is the life proof cases. So this is just one of them, I seem to go through these every three months. Yeah, if you saw the Batman, that's right. I have Batman on my... It's a little blurry there. Let me see if I can show that to you. There it is. Batman. So yeah, I got Batman on my phone. My son picked it out. Deal with it. Um, biggest problem I have with these cases, though, is they don't last. After a couple months of use, they break. You have this little access door on this side here. It's on a hinge, so when the phone's together, it's where your charging port is. And everywhere you have a camera or a button, there's this little film over it. And it never never works, never lasts, it breaks. The phones cost $80. So, yeah, you can do it under warranty, but $80 for a case to last three months, to me that's bullshit. So I started getting tired of replacing these things over and over and over again because they just don't last. When they first came out, they actually worked well. And if I feel like their product quality just went to shit after a while. So I'm using an iPhone 7 still. I know everybody's switching to the iPhone 10, Galaxy this, whatever. The phone still works. It's great. It's IP67 rated. So if I'm out in the rain, it's not going to break. But the reason I wanted to do this video quick is for the phone that I decided to, the case that I should say, I decided to go with. Um, after watching all the videos, one of them, above all, really stood out, which was the mouse cases. So what I have here, you can see, I have a mouse case in carbon fiber. Now I don't have a full enclosure, but like I said, it's IP67 rated. If I drop it in the water, chances are I'm not going in after it anyway, especially now it's March. I'm not going to die for my foam. So I just wanted to give a quick review from a blue collar standpoint on what this phone's actually about. If you should get it, which that's completely up to you. This is my own biased opinion, but I'll jump right into it for now. So as you can see here, I have the carbon fiber version. Don't mind the grease on the back. I was just cooking chicken for my kids. My wife is out of town for a couple days, so... I just got done cooking. I wasn't going to clean up just to shoot a video since, like I said, this is a real world review. And I'm not going to have everything clean. There's dust everywhere. There's shit all over the house. It is what it is. I'm sure most people will agree on that. So let me start off with putting the phone in and out of the case. It is very simple. You can see on the back here the notch for the camera that's cut out. You want to take that little insert there. Just push it out and the phone will just come right out of the case. Piece of cake. Sorry about that beep. That's actually my wife texting me. I'm going to check that in one second since she's getting on a plane. 
So you can see here, here's the case. It's got a little water behind it, probably just from today. So I'll have to clean that out later. Um, one thing people are always saying in the reviews, never really understood or cared what they're talking about is around the edges here, you have this mold line where the two were joined together. Personally, I could really care less to tell you the truth. It's a line. It is what it is. Let me just dry off this water inside real quick because that will drive me nuts. Um, but it's not bad. Yes, there is a little mold line going around. You don't even notice it nine times out of ten unless you want to notice it. So that's all I have about that. Putting the foam back in the case, very easy. Slide it in on the, here's the rocker side here. Put it right in. Like I said, I have grease from chicken on my fingers. So I'm in halfway right here. Give it a little push and you're done. So simple, simple. And let me just see what my wife's saying. She's getting ready to board a plane. She's saying I'm the best. Thank you, sweetie. I love you too. Hope you have fun. She's going down to Disney to meet one of her girlfriends for her 40th birthday party for her friend's 40th. So I'm sure they're going to have a fun weekend. Um, all that means is I'm going snowboarding, so I can't wait. But um, back to the case, sorry. Um, the one big thing, two big things that drew me to this case was, one, the amount of abuse this thing took while it, they're, we're doing the reviews. I dropped my phone a lot. It's dropping off forklifts, dropping on the concrete, on the docks, you name it. It's getting an abuse. And one thing I do have to say about this, I have dropped this thing numerous times. And I don't even have a scrape, blah, 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 scratch on the case. The screen protector, which it comes with, is very durable. I've dropped it on the face multiple times, and there is not even a scratch on that. A few little blemishes to the screen protector, but it hasn't cracked. But this case, though, I do have to say, is absolutely bulletproof. Like I said, did not even have a nick after dropping it on blacktop, concrete, you name it. Has absolutely blown my mind. The one... Actually, let me say, there's two big issues I have with this case. And it's actually almost a deal breaker. I'm not going to switch cases just because I'm not shelling out another $40 for a case. But if you work outside, take my suggestion. Do not get the carbon fiber. This thing is slippery as all hell. You want to carry it. I've dropped almost every time I want to drop this thing. Not on purpose, of course. I'm holding it up to my ear and the thing just... I just dropped it there. The thing just slips right out of your hand. It's like holding a piece of wet glass or whatever analogy you want to use. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's very, very slippery to the point where I'm almost two-handing it while I have it to my ear. So, might want to look at the leather one. I don't know if any of the other cases are not as slippery, but I don't know who sees. Who knows? Maybe Mouse will see this and throw me a leather one just to make my life that much easier since... This carbon one is going to end up about 30 feet down in the water and just get lost forever. Um, another big gripe that I have, it's actually something from them I wish I had never bought, is the magnetic carp mount. That thing is an absolute piece of garbage. I think every time you hit a bump, go over a speed bump, hit the gas too hard, if the, I have a truck, if the truck even shakes a little bit, the phone's falling off, the thing's coming out of the vent... The thing's just junk. It doesn't work. I'm, things always fall down by my feet while I'm driving. You're trying to fish around, pick the damn thing up. It's just, it doesn't hold. I mean, you can always go buy something from Amazon where you can put a little round disc on the back of it that sticks on there and then that goes onto a case. I know they hold much better, but biggest issue with those mount, those car vent ones is they never stay on the vent, especially with the weight of this case. When you have the phone and the case on, it's not the lightest thing in the world. It's not heavy, but it's not that light either. Excuse me. So as soon as I put it in the vent, you can see the vent slowly starting to slide down. I do have the magnetic strips. They line up right across the top right here, right where they're supposed to. So it's lined up straight, and the thing just falls off. I always make sure that it's clean, nothing wrong with it, but it just does not work. So stronger magnets, I have no idea what the fix is. Just put it in your cup holder, I don't know. But that thing is absolutely annoying. Um, as you saw before too, when I took the case off, there was water behind it. So one big thing to always do, and this is always something I'm pretty anal about, is keeping behind the phone clean. 
just because you get a lot of dirt and stuff build it, built up in there. God knows what's going to grow in there, how dirty it's going to be. And then if you look here as well, I don't know if you can see the screen protector at all. Let's see if I can angle it at all. But probably not. The light's right over my head right now. Just because I am not in a professional studio. You can see it right here. That's from the screen protector. It's not a full edge to edge. Which is good because this thing would peel right up when you want to put the case on. But you do get a little dust ring that goes right around the outside. And... Um, Every once in a while, you just got to take a rag, wipe that down, but it's always good practice. Every couple days, just pop the case off, clean your phone behind it, get any moisture out, any dust, dirt that built up. But in terms of the case, if you're looking to buy a mouse case, I can tell you I'm not light, I'm not gentle or easy with my phones or most of my equipment. They are going to fall. They are going to have a lot of things happen to them. That is not good, that if you don't have a good case, they are going to break. You're going to have to pay the two, $300 in insurance or go get a new phone or God knows what else. So, when I say I'm not easy on these phones, I mean it. And this phone for the past month, month and a half or so, has held up. I've dropped it probably over two dozen times. It's been kicked, slammed, kids spill stuff on it. And it's tumbled downstairs, upstairs, you name it. And uh, this thing is held up absolutely amazing. So I'm completely sold on the case. If anyone wants to hear any more about it, see some more pictures or whatever, just let me know. Shoot me an email. I'll leave the link to that right down below. And keep, keep an eye on our channel too. We're coming out with a lot of videos soon for a clothing brand we just started, like I mentioned in the beginning. It's www.getanautical.com. Or, actually, I think I mentioned it. It might have been in a previous version I shot of this where I just deleted it because it sounded like shit. So, but yeah, we started a clothing company called Get Nautical. We have a website, Instagram. Check us out. Instagram's Get Nautical Outfitters. That's the name of the business. YouTube is just Get Nautical, I believe. That's on here. But make sure you like and subscribe here. If you have any questions, leave some comments below. Tell your friends about it. We're trying to grow this YouTube channel just to get some more followers. Keep bringing out good content. And once it starts getting warm out, hopefully, and once we get my boat in the water, we're going to start doing a lot more on the water stuff as well. But till then, hope you everyone has a good night. Hope everyone has a good Friday tomorrow, good weekend. And again, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to message me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can on that. Usually it doesn't take too long, a couple hours. I should be able to just fire a message right back. Unless i got to look something up for you. It might take a little longer, but depends on what you want to ask me, right? Anyways, hope everyone has a good night, and I will see you later.